what kind of bizarre dystopia have we arrived in that those who stand up and fight back against fascism and against state abuse and against persecution and against the oppression of those who are weaker, most celebrities, and I mean big, uh, big time celebrities like Roger Waters, they don't, they're not willing to use that capital, that celebrity capital for to go up against the mainstream talking points to, you know, they're sometimes willing to use it in the mainstream talking points, which is not risky at all. You know, being Sean Penn and going, I'm going to fight for Ukraine. It's, you know, or Madonna's out there at the women's March. And, and I'm not saying, well, for Sean Penn, I am, I'm not saying Madonna shouldn't have been at the women's March, but I'm saying those type of things, when you're just doing something that is the mainstream form of activism, the mainstream, uh, it, it, you're not risking anything. Roger Waters has gone against the mainstream. He stood up for the persecuted and the oppressed in this world that the ruling elite are working actively, mainly the American ruling elite, working actively to crush. The Palestinians and Assange are probably two of his biggest, but he's stood up for many people over the years. So now, right now, they're now, right now, in case you were concerned as to when now is, I better clarify, you know, because you say now, people are like, when now? But now, right now, oh, I think he means now. Um, <laughs> uh, right now is this concerted effort to really crush Roger Waters and try to brand him as anti-Semitic, as a, a, a bigot or something, which is hilarious considering his body of work over decades, decades. But okay, I'm setting this up too much. Um, let me first show this video, it's two to three minutes long, of the State Department trying to address their own, one of their own people has tweeted or commented about, or Instagram posted about uh, Roger Waters. And uh, they seem completely incapable of, uh, of responding. In his uh, um, speech today before APAC, um, among other things, positively cited uh, Ambassador Deborah Lipstadt, um, uh, ambassador on anti-Semitism. Um, she recently tweeted, uh, I wholeheartedly concur with a European group con condemnation of Roger Waters and his dis despicable Holocaust distortion. The European group had tweeted, Roger Waters' gig in Berlin, is there anything more anti-Semitic than using Anne Frank as a prop on a German stage while prancing around in a Nazi uniform attacking Jews? This is an incredible distortion of what happened. I don't know if you're familiar with The Wall, which is possibly the most classic rock opera in rock and roll history. So unrelenting denunciation of fascism and racism. One of the songs in it, features him as mocking a demagogue, like, like Charlie Chaplin did, um, and talking to the crowd and saying, are there any queers, are there any Jews, are there any blacks in the audience tonight? Get him up against the wall, and then he gets a machine gun and mows them down. It's an obvious uh, attack on fascism, and yet your ambassador is denouncing it and pretending that Roger Waters, presumably because he defends Palestinian rights as well as other people's rights is is an example of anti-Semitism. Are you going to are you going to distance yourself from this, or are you going to back? I, I've not seen this? I've not seen that tweet, nor am I uh, familiar with this uh, piece of uh, expression. So uh, I'm just going to refrain. Uh, I'm going to refrain from uh, offering any else. You're, you're not familiar with the wall. I, I <laughs> you're not surprise, familiar with Matt. Floyd? No, I know who Pink Floyd is. Thank you. I know who Roger Waters is also. I'm just not familiar with, okay. well, with this. You know, you know, just, you know, it caused a, a little bit, it caused a, a bit of a, a stir a I, week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So it would be interesting to see, particularly since a, an administration official uh, saw fit to to comment on it what you guys what you guys think from here uh, i'm happy to, to to check for you matt uh but i i've not seen the ambassador's tweet so i will uh refrain from weighing in further it's not like you know one ambassador is talking about a subject that's not in their portfolio she is 
beyond parody, distorting anti-Semitism and criticism of Israel. Uh, he used Anne Frank's name as a list of people, of martyrs, who he reveres. This is an incredible distortion. I think it's imperative if the State Department isn't going to wholeheartedly dispense with any pretense about anti-Semitism being an actual problem and only use it as a way of denouncing people who stand up for Palestinian that rights. Is, that, is absolutely, that is absolutely well, not... Well, the proof is in uh, the pudding. I want a response to this, please. That, that is absolutely not uh, our approach to that. Well, prove it. I mean, look... Uh, all right, I'll stop it there. But uh, literally, they're they're taking they're, they're claiming someone is anti-Semitic who is literally mocking the Nazis and mocking, uh, you know, what they stood for, and saying essentially in his work that you know, this could happen again and you need to beware of it. You need to beware of fascism. But so here is someone who is uh, addressing fascism, mocking fascism, tearing apart fascism in his art, in his work, in his music. And you have people saying he's supporting fascism. It is the most idiotic, uh, <laughs> idiotic stance I've ever seen. And here is our State Department going, I have never heard of, I don't know the things i've ever heard of any of it i don't know what, what is pink floyd um because they can't really address it uh so now i want to show roger waters response to what's been going on uh he talked about it for about 20 minutes on youtube i'm just going to show one or two minutes of it uh but he addressed this attack and it is a large scale attack i mean it is multiple media across multiple media outlets uh, claiming he dressed like Hitler and he's glorifying Nazism when he does the polar opposite of that. And actually, if you see as he's dressed, it's not even a swastika. It's crossed hammers. It's meant to mimic a demagogue, a Nazi type society, but it does not have a swastika or anything uh, of actual Nazi symbols. But OK, so I want to show... Uh, I want to show you Roger Waters addressing this. We'll be all right. We'll get... Sorry, uh, skipped a moment there. Brothers and sisters in Manchester, it's insane. If we shout the lie loud enough, Roger Waters is an anti-Semite. We'll be all right. We'll get people to believe it. We can vilify him. We can probably destroy him. And we will get him in the end. Well, no, you won't. Because it is a lie. You can gather as many fucking morons together as you want to repeat your lie. But it remains a vicious lie. The narrative that I'm an anti-Semite and that I'm promoting fascism by wearing a leather coat and that I'm heavy symbols, which are crossed hammers, by the way, not swastikas or anything that is literally Nazi, Third Reich, German. 40 years I've been doing, 40 years, every single year almost between 1980 and now, I've been doing bits of that show. Why now? Why suddenly now would people be picking up and going, he's wearing a replica of a Nazi uniform on stage. He's obviously glorifying the Third Reich and Nazism. He's doing that as part of his general attitude, which is that he hates Jewish people. All over, all the press in the Western world, everything. Roger Waters, anti semite glorifying Nazism, wearing a thing. Okay, well, if we could deconstruct that... So uh, I'm going to stop there because he gets into a, a long explanation that would be, uh, you know, I'd have to play the next 10 minutes, but feel free to look up that video if you want. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can find the link for you. But he asked the question, why now? And the answer is because he's been successful at drawing attention to uh 
to the Palestinian cause, to Julian Assange. He's been uh, of celebrities and of those who have a platform. He's been more successful than others. And so that's why they're going after him right now, because they need to shut down this voice. Uh, he does it on a stage that millions see around the world. He tours and millions come out to see him perform. And he makes them aware of the Palestinian cause of uh, Assange and of other exploited peoples. And so they need to shut that down. They being, uh, you know, our ruling elite here in the U.S., the ruling elite in the U.K., uh, many of the ruling elite in Germany as well, which is some of the most aggressive uh, people going after him for a show that mocks Nazi type individuals. Um, and it does, I mean, the biggest, to me, the biggest point of this, other than we need to defend him and make sure he is not canceled for daring to speak out against fascism. Uh, but the other larger point is. What kind of bizarre dystopia have we arrived in that those who stand up and fight back against fascism and against state abuse and against persecution and against the oppression of those who are weaker, they're called fascist. They're called anti-Semitic for standing up and fighting back against it. Literally the polar opposite of what's going on. Uh, I mean, it is just fucking pathetic to see this from our media. And then you also, not only can you indict the, the people who have actively done the, the pushing of this storyline that Roger Waters is anti-Semitic, not only can you indict them, but you can also indict all the rest of the media who's not standing up for him as they didn't stand up for Assange, as they generally don't stand up for Palestinians, as they don't generally stand up for other oppressed people around the world unless it aligns with U.S. empire's useful, you know, victims. Like, oh, this, this specific, we care about this specific human rights tragedy right here in this one country because they're a socialist country and, and uh, we want to stop them. But this is... All of our, like, where are they? Like, like they should all be furious to see a spokesperson, whether it's in music or it's in art or it's in comedy or whatever it's in, who works so hard to stand up for the exploited, for the oppressed, they should hate to see an attempt at canceling him. And it should make them furious. And you should hear the media speak about it. Instead, you hear silence. You hear crickets you hear just complete and utter silence from your mainstream media because they do not want to put their neck out for someone who has been selected to be canceled by the ruling elite by the ruling empire uh they, they they're not going to do it because they have sold their souls to corporate america and they're just looking for what gets them higher on that ladder and for a while, uh, you know, Assange was, uh, bef before he was imprisoned, before he was persecuted, Assange was the, you know, uh, a, a, a golden boy to much of our media. The Guardian using his work for articles, the New York Times, Washington Post. But then the moment the empire turned on him, they all got in line and they all said, what? Assange? Oh, my God, what a traitor. What a, what a absolute horrible human being. What a criminal. Because they are, are, are licking the boots of corporate power. And um, I wanted to bring this to you because I think we all need to stand up for Roger Waters. Because as with anything, he is uh, one of many. Uh, perhaps he's one of the most public, one of the most, one of the biggest celebrities in, in terms of this happening. But he's, you know, if they can do it to him, they can do it to anyone. And... They're they're seeing how far they can get. They're seeing how much they can. Uh, they they had already. They've been going at it for many years. They actually got uh, corporate sponsors to pull out of his tour um, in the past. So this isn't the first time that they've gone after him. But this is a much bigger uh, attack than in the past. Um, so I wanted to update you on that and show you what it is that uh, that they've been doing to him. But uh, 
hopefully it can be fought against and uh, we we can make sure that, you know, his tours are not stopped, that his uh, his ability to get his message out there is not stopped. Uh, and of course, that Assange is freed as well.